Hello friends, how are you doing today? In this video, we are going to talk about uh, all the words that you have been hearing in this AI agent world and also when the world started to explore the generative AI solutions by using large language models and small language models, how you as a developer or solution architect or enterprise architect or DevOps engineer accept the roles that you are performing as a data engineer or data scientist how you shape up your career by adopting these type of latest technologies in your career. I'm not talking about the data engineer role or data scientist role who are core involvement in um, creating the algorithms and creating the large language model, creating the AI solution. I'm talking about the roles that you are performing as developer, DevOps engineer, architect, solution architect, enterprise architect, who are all required to know how to use these AI solutions in their day-to-day -day job. So there are clear differences between the people who are creating the AI solution and people who are using the AI solution. I'm not talking about data scientists or data engineers who are creating the AI solution. I'm focusing on the people who are planning to use these AI technologies in their solutions. All right, so let's get into the uh, actual trend, what happened, right? In 2023, we came to know about a generative AI solution, which was provided by multiple vendors by providing the large language model to this community. By using the large language model, as a user, you are able to get whatever you wanted. It's not just like a search engine it is producing the new content based on the input information what you provided to the large language model and prior to that AI was existing and AI was just a um, legacy AI where it helps the customer or people to automate the task and produce the analysis uh, report all those steps but after 2023 we came to know about uh, the generative AI solutions and large language models which were helping to produce the new generated content, right? And in 2024, we came to know about the agentic solutions, AI agents and agentic AI solutions, all those stuffs. So as a solution architect, what you must know, you must know how to use these large language models or generative AI solutions in your problem use cases or business use cases and provide the solution out of it, right? And uh, you might have definitely explored how to use these generative AI solutions by integrating the large language model into your chatbot application or the summarization Q&A. That's perfectly fine. That's how you must uh, explore the solution and fit in with your existing applications which are running in your organizations. For example, if you are a retail company, you must have uh, definitely the applications which are helping your customer as a customer support applications or some of the applications might be useful for your inventory management and some of the applications might be useful for store management, etc. right? So those applications, you might have integrated these generative AI solutions and you might have reaped the benefit out of this generative AI solution. There's nothing but your large language model or small language models, right? Now, uh, the same pattern must be applicable for uh, the AI agent solutions. So, what are all the technologies that you must know? So as a solution architect or DevOps engineer or developer, you must know these technologies well, and you must know how to use these technologies to build the solution for your organizations. Uh, let's start with a large language model. So when it comes with a um, large language model, you must know like uh, any studios, for example, whatsnext.ai studio, that helps you to use the large language model and fine tune the large language model or prompt engineering the large language model and prompt tuning the large language model so that you can tune the large language model according to your business use case. So that is one skill you must have. And the second skill is you must know how to use the studios. Studio I mean here is the large language studio or AI studio whatever you call it as, and that has all the components like list of large language models available in library. You must know how to use the library and how to pick the right model for your business use case. 
and you must know how to write simple python codes to execute the logics and integrate those a models in your business use cases so that is an uh, important skill second thing is when it comes to a agent solutions you must know what are all the a agents available first of all you must know what exactly the a agents so a agents are nothing but the agent that has the ability to use the large language model begin the scene and also it uses the tasks and tools memory and storage all those components and it orchestrate among all these components and achieve the business task for your organization in simple example let's say like you are uh, running a retail store and you wanted to have a, an ai agent solution that ai agent must start tracking the customer order and what happens to the customer's order if there is any flaw in the customer order if the customer wanted to return the product to the organization and you must have the solution to start the return and refund process properly and give the end to end solution without any human interventions so that is one example for a agent solutions so as a solution architect or devops engineer or developer you must know how to create this agentic solution here in this case you are not writing any algorithms to create large language model or small language model and all you need to do is use the right large language model and you must know how to integrate that large language model with the storage solution how to integrate your large language model with the memory the short term memory long term memory and you must know how to integrate that large language model with a task or tool solutions so when you come to know how to integrate these together and build an agentic solution for your organization that's enough as a solution architect you must um, have this skill to produce solution for your organization based on the business use cases and uh, what are all the tools that you must need to learn and know to build this type of ai agent solution you must know what exactly the lang graph means what exactly lang chain means so lang chain is a workflow engine it's a framework and lang graph acts as a gps for your lang engine so you must know how to use this lang chain lang graph and also when it comes to workflow creation uh, there is a tool called nitm that has been built by an open source community now it's a licensed one you must know how to automate the ai agentic solution by using this nitm solutions so there are plenty of solutions available similar to this workflow automation you must know how to use those workflow automations in your organization to provide the solution for the business use cases and um, coming to the cloud solutions as a cloud architect or enterprise architect a solution architect developer devops engineer who wanted to provide right solution for your organization you must know what are all the ai services available in your favorite cloud service providers suppose if you are using ibm as a cloud service provider you must know how to use what's an x solution what's an x.a what's an x.data what's an x orchestrate to orchestrate uh, your workflows suppose if you are using azure as your cloud service provider you must know how to use a agentic azure solutions a agentic hub a agentic project everything and similarly if you are using aws or google cloud you must know what are all the a services available in the cloud service provider and how to use those and now you must um, have got an idea about uh, how to use the existing a technologies to provide proper solution for your organization and if your organization is trying to explore the business use cases to adopt a solutions you must know all these skills and you must have the experience in all these skills okay and coming back to the a agentic solutions you must know the clear difference between a agent and agentic a solutions normally when it comes to a agent solution as you know you must know how to integrate the large language model and storage memory tools in your organization how to integrate all these together to form an agent 
that agent is going to help your organization for implementing the business use cases right so you you are organization you may have multiple lobs for example let's go back to this retail model solution where you have a customer satisfaction department uh, inventory management department store management department so for all these three departments you may create three agent solutions an a agent for managing the customer satisfaction an a agent for managing the inventory management an a agent for managing the store management right so the three a agents you created and you implemented these three a agent for your retail company now it's time to create a multi agent solution to orchestrate these agents to work together that is another key area as a solution architect or enterprise architect you must know for that there are technologies like crew ai crew ai is um, ibm company that helps you to orchestrate these ai agents and provide a multi agent orchestration system for your organization so as a solution architect you must know how to use crew ai to orchestrate these ai agents that you created for your different lobs in your organization so these are all the things that you must know to provide the right solution for your organization or if you are dealing with any organizations and you are providing a solution for the business use cases specifically ea specific business use cases you must know all these tools and technologies and you must know how to use these tools and technologies to provide the solution i have provided the list of all these technologies in the description and also corresponding links to go and explore so have fun exploring all these tools and technologies and provide right strong solutions for your business use cases and for your organizations and if you like this video give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it take care bye